Hey, everyone. So now that we have a better idea of what animation is and the difference between video and animation, um, let's think about that for a second. So if video is when a camera is taking lots and lots of pictures automatically and creating movement from those pictures or frames, right? Then animation is when we deal with those pictures or frames individually or thinking about them as different pictures, right? So if you're doing a computer animation, you can actually tell the computer, like, move this thing from here to here in one second or 24 frames, right? If it's 24 frames every second. Um, so the computer will do that. It'll just take lots of pictures in between those two moments for you and it'll like create that, that movement. We're doing it manually in stop motion. We're like have an object and we're like, oh great. One picture, two picture, three picture, all the way to 24 if it's 24 frames per second. 24 is kind of difficult if you're just beginning. So maybe think about 12 frames per second for now. For this assignment, I want you just to keep working on whatever you're working on, um, keep exploring. But you can start to think about a larger project for yourself. If it's a story or um, finding like all the things you can do in animating some loose change or I don't know. Or maybe some of you do some drawing, so you can maybe make those into a puppet to animate and animate that and come up with a story. It's totally up to you, but I want you to start thinking about maybe a larger project that you can individually work on. Okay, so I'll turn it over to Professor Magugelstick, follow the other link, watch it. You'll learn how to make an animation box this time. And that's another cool thing that you could do this time. So the animation box is a great tool for you to make your animation a little bit cleaner. So as you might have realized, as you're animating, your phone or your tablet is moving around and it might be a little bit like rough, right? This is a tool that'll help you if you're animating on your table, it'll hold it in place. So you have a cleaner animation. Um, if you're animating something that's in front of you, like on a table, like Legos or some like stuffed animals, maybe you can prop up your phone or tablet with some books and you can take pictures that way. And you can actually set a timer on it so you can be like, okay, take a picture in 10 seconds. And then you can go and you can adjust the things that you want and then it'll take a picture. All right, so that's another way you can do it. All right, good luck. Can't wait to see what you make.